bought another Chinese motor. So basically what I do is I go on Amazon and I find the cheapest motorized bike kits that I can find and then chuck them on my bike. Well this time I decided to get one of those four stroke ones, 49cc, four stroke engine. This is very Chinese. Uh, yeah, so it arrived with this massive hole in it. Now, I mean, I, I guess when it's coming from China, it's, I mean, it's coming on boats, planes, cars, trucks, boats. Anyways, guys, this is, uh, yeah, like a 49cc engine kit. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this thing open. <laughs> Guys, I can't help but laugh. Okay, these instructions. Congratulations. Wow, like this is a big deal. You have purchased one of the finest four-stroke engine kits available. I'm not even joking. I'll, I'll put a screenshot right here. Their description for this thing on Amazon said only run, as you can see it here, only run two-stroke mixed fuel to ensure that your engine runs properly. You can tell that these sellers really know their product well. Okay, I don't want to bore you guys. This is, I mean, here's the, uh, oh man. Ooh, here it is. Okay, there's the motor. That's actually pretty big. This is the engine. So supposedly, you know, it's gonna be. Okay. This is a pull start system, so basically, whereas on the 80cc ones, you know, you've got your clutch. You got your clutch that you gotta pull in, and then you got a pedal to start. Whereas this one, you're just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be pull start, and it's got some trip of the clutch, so you don't have to worry about doing the hand clutch, which is kind of nice. But if you guys want to get one of these kits, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get one. I think they're like about $200. It literally, I, I think they took a box, and then they just like threw everything all in like at once and just like pressed it down and then shipped it off because i mean like where is the organization here it's just like random stuff and then occasionally we'll chuck in a piece of styrofoam it's like okay you know this might <sighs> nice black gasket there's literally sand rolling around in the why do I buy these things? I'm, I'm just saying, you know, these things don't promise quality. Well, they promise quality in the description, but you don't, you don't, you don't get the quality. Again. Okay. Hey, they put something in a bag. Oh my goodness. There's literally a hole in the bag. So as you can see here, this master link here broke, and I think it's it grabbed on this edge here and just ripped it off. So unfortunately, I cut the chain too small to begin with because I figured, nah, I, I won't use the chain tensioner. Well, then I figured out I had the problem with the frame, so I had to get more slack so that I could put the tensioner in there. So I added some chain, so I needed two master links. Well, I didn't have the right size master link, so I used one that was a little bit too wide. Didn't think it would be a problem. Well, obviously, it is. I gotta say, this isn't going so well, but we got the bike to move. So I had myself a plan. That didn't last long. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys up on what I've done. So, carburetor was giving me issues. So the fuel, you know, you wanna turn it off after you ride, but if you don't, it just keeps flooding itself and it'll just keep, I mean, it just keeps going. So if you forget to turn off the gas, it'll leak like straight out of the air filter, just leaking onto your chain. Your whole tank overnight would probably just be gone. I mean, it's a pretty fast rate when it goes. So I took it apart. I, I didn't see anything wrong inside, but 
perhaps the float was just like stuck and when I opened it, you know, it freed it up. I don't know. Hopefully it works better now. The chain, so the engine before was tilting to the side due to a horrible mounting design for the mounting plate. So I put this little support beam here and this is gonna stop it from uh, pushing back this way. It is still on a little bit of an angle, but it, it, it shouldn't be a huge problem, just a little bit. Since I fixed that, this frame is not nearly as much of a problem, so I was able to take a link out. Uh, so I got rid of those chain tensioners. So now this chain isn't it's just kinda, you know, loosely there. It's rubbing, you know, it, it'll hit it a little bit, but not a problem. Long story short, I think it's ready to go. All right, guys, I am now going to try a bit more of an extensive test, so I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Okay, well, there went my chain. <sighs> yeah, okay. All right, so the chain didn't break, but it did pop off and I'm kind of disappointed there. And I think it's still the frame. I don't know guys, I mean, that looks, it looks pretty good. I, I mean, and the chain doesn't seem too tight. I mean, there's some slack in there. I'm not sure. Okay. So, this motorized bike thing is taking a really long time. So, I decided to go to this motorcycle competition, right? And they told me there would be donuts, so I, I brought my coffee. <laughs> All right guys, a little bit of an update. My chain, okay, has been having some issues and you can see it there. It's, it's hard to see. You can really see it. The chain is twisted and it's bent that way. It's stuck, twisted. Originally I thought, you know, maybe it's the frame. Turns out my chain is actually like bent, twisted. And I think it was because remember when my engine was sitting sideways for a long time, I had to put this support in here so that it wouldn't do that and it's not anymore um but it was tilted and i think just sitting like that it ended up twisting my chain so i bought a new chain all right here it is open it up nice all right so this chain is like gold and black all right here is the chain i just don't want to put that on my bike I don't know guys, uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. The new chain looks pretty cool and uh, it runs good. Just as an overview of the bike, it starts up and runs really good. I just had that carburetor issue. Once I took it apart and got the float working, it starts up like first pull every single time. I mean, it, it, it's, and runs really, really well. Um, just had to work out some kinks there. The chain also, you know, had some issues with the, uh, you know, bending and coming off. I would recommend if you're gonna get one of these motors, my only fault with this is putting it on a mountain bike. And I think that's why the mount 
didn't work so well and it kind of shifted it doesn't work real well if you're gonna get one of these motors I would recommend putting it on a beach cruiser the beach cruisers seem to work a lot better for these motors especially because there's just more room there as you can see here I had to cut some of that choke lever off just because there wasn't enough room with this frame and they ride a lot nicer the beach cruisers I like the handlebars better on a beach cruiser. Performance wise, it did okay, but really I'm not seeing a huge difference between this and the two stroke. I mean, obviously uh, this bike, you know, you can do the pull start thing, you know, there's no lever clutch, but is it really worth the $200 that you pay for this kit? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think I'll get another one of these. I, I, I think I like the two strokes better and I like the idea of our two stroke. They're a lot more simple a lot I, I mean the four strokes are nice you know you don't have to mix gas but honestly it's not it's not a huge deal mix gas um, gonna be honest guys I'm, I'm i'm not really impressed with it i think i'm definitely just gonna sell it and be done with it i, I don't it, i don't really like it anyways be sure to stay tuned because my next video i'm going to be doing a comparison between the 80 cc two stroke and the four stroke but yeah i wouldn't waste your money on it to be honest but you know a little bit more user friendly as far as the no clutch lever you know the pull start a little bit easier they seem to run better a little bit more forgiving but yeah uh, be sure to see that uh, upcoming video because I'm going to go through uh, everything, do some tests with both of them, and uh, it should be pretty cool. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like my other stuff, I want to consider subscribing. See you next time at the Pit Stop.